Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed five minute podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. Guys, I am so happy that you guys are with me today. Today is day five, the fifth and final day of Provision Hacks, getting it done with faith, ingenuity, and favor. But what about the money? Five quick tips to help accelerate, cultivate, and position yourself to receive. So, guys, at the beginning of the year, I made this this book, uh, this free ebook. Provision Hacks available for you all to download. I think it might have been February or March. And I'd already written this material and, and put it in there for you guys to really kind of get a head start. And God had put it on my heart eventually to begin to do my hack series on my podcast. So what you guys are listening to today, I believe is timely. And I believe if you this is your first day here and I want you to make sure you go back and get caught up on all the other days. But this is definitely a tool for the provision part of the process. Okay, so basically it's five intangible hacks and resources that can add value to your path to marketplace miracles. And if you are not listening because you have a business, but you have a ministry or you have some type of vision or something that God wants you to pursue, this is absolutely and most definitely for you as well. Because each tip has a scripture to inspire impact and action. So everything I do is word based. I always show you by the word. Now, another thing, too, you should know, I'm living this stuff and I've done it already. I'm continuously doing it at elements and aspects of it. And that's why I believe God gave me clearance to share it because I do know that it works. So again, I definitely mentioned the ebook, but make sure you hit the link below this podcast and download provision hacks guys. If you haven't yet, I want you to make sure you do it because the ebooks actually help. If you are new to my podcast, I have tons of free resources and you can go to the inspiration specialist.life and on that site it's all of my free resources okay now if you want to find out about what I'm going what's going on in general and all of the different things you can check out uh the clothing that I sell the other things that I have going on my new book releases and my my new tour the re-up tour all of these things that are happening you can go to I'm wired to inspire.com and you can find all of my information out there and you can definitely follow me on social media just to get plugged in if you don't already So with that being said, I want to make sure we take care of housekeeping and that's hashtags. That is provision hacks and live your authentic purpose. Okay. And guys, if you just want to catch up on all of the different series, you can go to hashtag on wired to inspire podcast series and you'll see all the series that I've done and you can go back to the episode log on my podcast page and you can catch up on everything. Okay. So that's just a little bit of information before we really get into the meat and potatoes, but it is the last day. I'm super excited. And every day y'all, I do a different scripture for the particular topic, but this entire series is based on one scripture based premise. And that is first Corinthians chapter three, verse eight, the man who plants and the man who waters have one purpose and each will be rewarded according to his own labor. And I chose that because I just wanted to make it clear. A lot of people are stuck because they feel like God is not doing it for them. He's not giving them what they need. Not you gave me the vision, but I don't have no money to do this. Lord, this ain't you. But y'all, that's not necessarily true. What is the scripture saying? A person is working. They watering, they planting, his labor. He is rewarded according to his own labor. So when God, you know, God gave them the field, he gave them the vision, but the provision is coming because they're handling their business. Yeah, Robin, I hear you, but I need the money to get this done. Okay, I'm sure you do because let's not get it twisted. We need money for everything. This is not what this is. I'm not somebody trying to tell you, oh, you don't need money to do nothing. No way. I'm trying to tell you why you might be getting it delayed. Why it's delayed from coming into your hands. Because a lot of times, guys, God will not release money or certain things into our hands if he knows that we're going to be irresponsible with it. He knows that we're not going to do what he needs us to do with it. He may be giving you a vision, but he might know you might go buy a Louboutins with it. I'm just saying. He might might not give it to you 
because he know you might use it, you know, going on a shopping spree. You know, he might not give it to you because you you want to you're going to burn gas. You want to hit the road. You want to travel everywhere. He may be telling you in this season, I'm going to give you this money. I'm going to give you what you need, but I need to develop you in some other areas before I give you this loot. I can't give it to you because I can't trust you with it. I'm not saying I don't want you to get Louboutins or that I don't want you to travel and I don't want you to dress nice and buy food and do fine dining. I'm glad you like all that stuff. No problem. But I know you're in a time right now where you're going to put it before me. You're going to go to Roots, Chris, before you go to the to the Secretary of State. You're going to spend them $170 on a state plate. You're going to go, you know, popping bottles and doing all these other things. God is now going to release that to you like that. Because he wants to make sure when you do it, you are living righteously for him. And he knows he can trust you with it. He knows if he give you a big wad of money and this to get your website done, it's to hire a branding person or a PR person or whatever it is he's telling you to do. He said, hey, go do the paperwork. I need you to take this money and buy the computer for the business. I need you to get the LLC. No, I need you to pay this one worker. He knows you're not going to use that money the right way. So he very well could be delaying it for you. Okay. So that's why I have this series because it's just going to bring some of those things to light. If you look back on some of the days, you know, we talk about how, you know, the first day you have to level up, you know, and invest in yourself and your time. The second day you give your best, even if it's your all in day three, what are you sowing? What's in your hand? And we do those three B's. And I want you to make sure you either go back and listen and you'll find out what the three B's are or hit that link below this podcast, download the ebook and I'll run it up in there as well. But then yesterday was day four, thinking outside of the box because you are a first Peter two and nine Kings kid. You have to look at the things that are coming against you and see if your solution is in the things that's angering you. See if it's in the things that you are fighting off. That could very well be how you get access to your provision. So that. It's just a quick recap before we get to today, which is the double portion. And today is talking about 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. Now, I know some of y'all might have been thinking about Isaiah talking about the double portion. But nah, I'm coming another way with this one because God is trying to show us y'all in this hour about what it's going to take and how the double portion is going to come because it's going to require us Humbling ourselves to what he's saying is going to require other people straight up, whether we like it or not, is going to require other people. So let's go ahead and read that again. Second Kings two and nine. When they had crossed over, Elijah and Elisha asked, what shall I do for you before I'm taken from you? And Elisha said, please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Hmm. So today, my friends, we are talking about the double portion when it comes to assisting and helping other people. Now, before I get into what this day is about, and it because it, it's a social, it's, it has to do with social media, but it also has to do with what I'm about to tell you. Some of us cannot get what we need because we either have too much pride, or we are not listening to God as He's telling us to go to certain people for assistance. Or to go to someone else or assist someone else in what they may need. You know, a part of this thing, guys, with access and provision and and literally seeing things manifest that you need to see your vision, your business, all of these things come to pass. Y'all, people need people. We need each other. Let me tell y'all something that gets on my nerves. I cannot stand. You can't sit with us. Um, What's another one? Oh, um. Oh, I'm by myself. I do my own thing. I don't mess with nobody else. Man, come on. Listen, if you know anything about success, if you know anything about the word of God and how Jesus got down, he let y'all know in the word in the New Testament. Now, I don't know the scripture by heart, but I know it's in there. He had to duck off by himself. He dipped out. He left everybody. So let me be clear. You will come to a season where you got to be by yourself. You will be a lone ranger. Even the father had to do that. Okay. God makes it plain that you have to be still and know that I'm God. And that is going to require seasons on this journey where you cannot entertain other people. So that is biblical. But what is not biblical is isolating yourself from other people because you think that they, that, that uh, you are better than them or you think that they are better than you. What is that? Because I'm going to tell y'all something. A lot of people stunt with how much money they make and posting it online. Y'all, they don't have that kind of money. 
They don't have that kind of currency. They just have enough wisdom and wherewithal and they know how to post what it is and they're getting people to believe them. But then you have other people who are really getting it in. You know, it's one lady on IG. I like following her and she makes like, I think she's made like six figures or something like that. But you know, she legit because she's literally showing you how she does it. She's not just stunting, taking pictures of money or saying I do this and saying I do that. She legit is showing you how she gets it done. But it's a lot of people that's not doing that. And then what it's doing is you're looking at your IG, you're looking at your Facebook, your Snapchat, you're looking at all these different things and you are beginning to feel inadequate. I talked about this the other day. That is foolishness. Because the enemy wants you to get so far away from what God is telling you that you missed the entire blessing. You know, too many times we're looking at one page of somebody's story and you're not realizing that it's a whole other book with a bunch of other chapters that you don't know nothing about. They're only showing you their good chapter. They're only showing you the month they made $80,000, but that's it. They don't show you nothing else. Or they really might have made nothing and they tell you that they made a bunch of money. So when it comes to the double portion, let's pay attention to Elijah and Elisha. You know, Elisha had enough sense to tell Elijah, look, you popping with it. You got it going on. I like what you're doing. You know what? Before you roll out, give me, give me what you got. I want double what you got. Now, you know what that is? That's a smart man. You know why? Because he opened his mouth. You have not because you ask not. Again, biblical. Speak those things that are not as though they were. Guess what? I'm going to have a double portion. Right? But that's just not the double portion that's in Isaiah. This is the double portion where he actually had to be in the presence of someone else that can assist and help him with what he's doing. He legit had to be around somebody who he could emulate. Okay? And many of us have these platforms and have these things. And some of you, you will have a platform, but you're thinking, oh, I'm just in my job. I've had dreams about this. I know God is telling me to do this, but you're looking at everybody else thinking, man, I don't speak like them. I don't look like them. Man, I'm not, I can't start a podcast. I can't write a book. Oh, I can't write a blog. Oh, I can't speak in front of people. The devil is a liar and the truth ain't in them. That's hogwash. That's straight up trash and foolishness. You can do it if you know God is telling you to do it. But what's going to delay you is if you don't pay attention to the double portion. A part of your accessing the double portion is aligning yourself with situations and people so that you can begin to bless other people with what you have. Now, let me jump in with to, what, to what today is about. Now, today is about social media. Okay, so if you are listening to me and you are on Instagram, make sure you follow me on IG. It's at Robin Nicole K, one word, one N, R O B I N I C O L E K, or at I'm Wired to Inspire. Make sure you follow me. Now, this is something that I think is really dope. I try to find all kinds of unique ways to set these things up. Now, I tried this and I did this before my I'm Wired to Inspire page. I didn't do it, but I do it sometimes, but I do it in different ways on my Robin Nicole page, but on my I'm Wired to Inspire page, I do this periodically, and it's something that I want to share with you. Now, I came up with this, I think, like I said, maybe in February or March, I can't remember the time, so you'll realize that if you do this over time, it's a real blessing, and some people, you know, maybe have done it or done something like it, but I think if you are aware of how you can help people with what you have, just a free Instagram account, you're going to start to create relationships with people, y'all. Listen to me. For, for somebody, listen, you just feel like you don't have nothing. You don't have no money. Listen, if you have the capability to listen to me on a podcast, you got you got the internet some kind of way, even if you had the library on headphones, you have access to it. Now you can create an IG page on the internet. You don't have to do it, I mean, uh, on a computer. You don't have to do it on your phone. You can literally use IG on there. Now I'm going to use IG. We can also apply this to Facebook as well. And you can also do it on, on Snapchat. You can do it on any one of these formats where you can do the story at the top. Or you can do a separate story in addition to your regular post. Okay? So find some different people that you admire. Okay? That's the first step I want you to do. Not necessarily influencers, y'all. It don't have to be famous people. It could just be somebody on, on the internet or on, excuse me, let's just do IG. But you can apply this across the board. I'm going to just use IG just to simplify it. But let's just say you want Instagram and, you know, you like people, you like their page. You're like, man, I, I like her podcast. I like his book. 
You know, I like her clothing line. I like her, you know, whatever the case is, you find people that you like, right? And it can be everybody from an author, a singer, a writer, hometown hero, um, do-gooders. It can be anybody that you like, okay? I want you to highlight five of them per week in your IG story. Pick a day like Writer Wednesday. You can pick a writer that you like, screenshot their book, you know, and upload it to your IG story and make a little note on it. They have all kind of, I do that kind of stuff. I love the little, uh, the little emojis and stuff and you can write and I love that. I, I have so much fun in my IG stories. So I want you to do that, right? And, and honestly, if you do Writer Wednesday, y'all, you can do unlimited amount of, you can do a thousand people if you want. I mean, you can do as many people as you want, but let's just say you take one person, one to five people and you call it Writer Wednesday. And every Wednesday, the people that follow, you know, you're going to do an IG story. And in that IG story, you're going to, you're going to post different authors, different books that you bought from people you saw on Instagram. And then you're going to tag them in it. You'll shoot them a DM and say, Hey, look, I just shouted out your book in my IG story. I don't want nothing. I, well, I don't want anything. I just want to let you know that I appreciate what you're doing. Do you know how much that can bless somebody? Do you know how much that means to them? And you know what? You're setting yourself up for the double portion because then that person may be inclined to say, you know what? Thank you. And they may find something that you do and share what you're doing. But again, it's about the relationships. It's about the double portion. The reason why I use something like an IG story for that example to compare to Elijah and Elisha is because we are in 2017. So I need, to, I need to show you guys how this thing can be a real life thing in the now with what you have. Again, provision. Do you see how IG don't cost you no money? Okay. And guess what? If you say, I don't have an iPhone, I don't have a cell phone, I'm just randomly listening to this, a library card is free. It might be a dollar. And if you don't have the dollar, I think you can ask them and they'll wave it for you if they're nice. So you really don't have an excuse. You can get access. If you get in there, you're like, well, I don't know how to use the computer. I just so happen to be listening to this podcast because my niece got it up, my daughter got it up, my son, whatever. Guess what? They'll show you how to use the internet in the library too. The point I'm trying to make to you is this. You don't have no more excuses. The enemy is going to go to hell in a handbasket trying to play with you. He's going to stay and burn there because he's not going to keep you from what it is. You are not going to keep with the excuses because now God is showing you, you can even use something like this for free. And all you're doing is shouting out other people. And you know what I really like about this hack is because it's genuine. If you only like one person's book, well, then do that. I said, singers too, if you're one of those people who like the dancers, you like the dancers that you see and you're an aspiring dancer, Post some of this stuff in your IG stories. You can do a 15-second video in the IG story. You can go to the repost app, download it, upload it to your thing, and bada boom, bada bing. You tag them. Did you know that if you if you uh if you add them in your IG story, it'll send it to them as a DM. And it'll show them that, hey, I posted something about you. So again, y'all, we're not necessarily focusing on celebrities or anything like that, but you're focusing on people who add value to your life that you like. So if you don't want to do Writer Wednesday, you can do Singer Saturday. You know, what's another thing I have? Um, You can do uh, Hometown Hero Monday if you feel like it. You know, you can do whatever it is that you want, okay? And you give them a shout out, y'all. You know, when Job prayed for his friends, and Job, read the book of Job in Job 42. When Job prayed for his friends, God gave him a double portion, provision. Elisha got a double portion of Elijah's spirit just by being connected to him. Use this principle, y'all, to bless others and to give them a boost. Okay? So again, that's just a simple, easy tip. And I love it because you can use it across the board. Just about all of the social media sites right now give you the opportunity to, to create a story, an ongoing story, in addition to your prominent post. Okay? So also, I want to tell you guys that even if there's nobody that you like right now and you don't know how to do this, this hack is still not a waste. Let's just apply it in everyday life. So let's say you don't want to do this and, and you know, you're not really internet savvy. And y'all, if you're listening and you want to do this, what I'm saying, but you don't know how, just hit me up. I'll tell you how to do it. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Shoot me an email podcast at I'm wired to inspire.com. And in the subject, say Instagram. And I'll know exactly what you're talking about. And you're like, Robin, it sound cool. I don't mind doing it, but I don't know what to do. I guarantee you, I will tell you exactly how to do it. I don't have no problem walking you through it because I want you to win. Hear my heart. I want you to win. I genuinely want you to win. And this is an easy thing for you to do 
if you are even already actively on social media or you're trying to get acclimated with it. Very easy thing to do. And you can show people your uh, your uh, your admiration and you can set yourself up for that double portion. Again, and, and let me say this too. You're not, you're not doing this to be shady to get them to like you. That's not what this is. But I think it's just important to operate from gratitude. Elisha and Elisha, that was about gratitude. That wasn't about trying to get over. So don't just go picking random people and you're not genuine. God see that too. We want to be authentic. That's why I say if this don't apply, then don't do it. Only do it if it applies. Only do it if there are people that you know. You don't have to go cook up people and make up people. But, y'all, even if it's your friends you're shouting out, start somewhere if it's something that you feel led to do. Okay? So, like I was saying, if it's just your everyday life, well, y'all, you know what you can do? If you work a job and you're around co-workers and it's just this one co-worker that you really appreciate and they don't even know, bring them some coffee, bring them a donut, give them a card, or just pull them to the side and say, yo, I appreciate your presence here. If you are a person that owns your own business and maybe you haven't, you know, given something to your employees in a while, do something nice for your employees. You know, uh, give them something to share, give them something to post, give them something, you know, send them something nice about themselves. Tell them you appreciate them. It doesn't have, this can translate into something else. But connect yourself to people that you will, that, that bless you. If they bless you, let them know that they bless you. Shout them out, y'all. And that's just your IG story. And listen, I use that because it's just sitting on your page and you're on there every day and you don't use it. But y'all, you could definitely do it the old school way and just upload a post like everybody else can see it. But I just like the IG story because it's so random. People that don't follow you even look at your IG stories because unfortunately sometimes, which now this is a part I don't like. Sometimes it flips on to somebody's story and I'm not necessarily trying to look at their story. And it might seem like I'm looking at their story. Like one of the frames will say, my name as if I viewed it, but I really didn't, you know, I might be looking at a story before then and it'll just jump onto somebody else's. And I'm like, wait, I wasn't trying to look at that. So, I mean, you know, you got little glitches and everything, but that ain't really no thing. That's just a personal thing with me sometimes when I'm trying to focus on a particular thing I'm trying to check out. But for the most part, y'all, this is something that you can do across the board. The point is to say what it is that you want and you need to position yourself for the double portion. Remember, whether it was Job, whether it was, whether it was Elijah or Isaiah, the double portion was available. That's three different times you hear about the double portion in the Bible. And if you pay attention to each one of those scenarios, each one of them had the same thing in common. Each one of them had to say it and each one of them had to be in right standing with God in order to make that thing happen. And they were positioned either around somebody or in a place in their lives where they were ready to receive it and they opened their mouth to get it. They did what they needed to do to get the double portion. So not only will you be in position for a blessing, but most importantly, you will be the blessing. You will be the blessing. Because look, Elijah said to Elisha, what shall I do for you? He said, what can I do for you? Y'all, that's why I'm saying this is a great thing to do because it's what can I do for you? How can I bless you? They may bless you back like they may not, but you just want to put it out there that I appreciate you. I want to bless you. I want to do something for you. It don't matter what your response is. Okay? So keep that in mind. Y'all, every day, the last day is no different. I always give the last and final extra special tip, and that is to download the Version Bible app. Because, you know, as I said in the beginning, and I said every day at the beginning of this series, that it is getting it done. Get the provision hacks is getting it done with faith. That's the first word I say, y'all. You know why? Because your faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word of the Lord. That is in Romans. Okay. And that is what we base this bonus hack on because we have to hear the word of God. And the reason why I love the Bible app, y'all, is because it will play itself. Once you play it, it'll roll all day long as long as you let it. Okay. And I know that you're busy, but maybe sometimes you can schedule. You can say, okay, I know I read my regular Bible, or maybe you haven't been reading your regular Bible. This is a good way to get you to start doing that because this is not a replacement of your regular Bible, but you can begin to implement this when you're working out, when you're cooking, when you're in the bathroom. I always say the same things, but just when you're doing busy work, whatever you're doing, you can play that Bible and get that word because y'all remember it's all connected. If your faith comes by hearing and knowing the word of God, y'all, 
then that, once your faith is up, you're going to see things move a lot faster. Boom, 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 because your faith is up. And when your faith is up, you're going to see that vision come together a lot faster. And you're going to see that provision manifest because your faith is up. You so, you so uh, steadfast on that word of God, you're not going to miss him. You are so steadfast on the word of God. You are handling your business and you are making it happen. Because you are standing in belief that he is going to come and do what he promised. And you will see that provision, that money, that favor. It will come to you because you're leaning on the word. And not only are you praying, not only are you reading the word, but you're handling your business. You are working it out. You're doing what you got to do. You're positioning yourself. So with that being said, y'all, that is a wrap on provision hacks. It has been an, an incredible blessing. I pray that somewhere along the way you were blessed. If you were not, to God be the glory. I'm glad you gave me your time. But if you weren't, please make sure you pass it on to somebody you think it may be able to help. And if you don't want to do that, that's cool too. God bless you. I appreciate everybody. The good, the bad, the ugly is all good. Because guess what, y'all? Romans 8.28 says, All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord according to his purpose. And if you don't know, I'm going to remind you, I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So this is all about purpose. This is all about walking in that light. And this is all about living and doing what it is that God wants in you, y'all, for real. Forget the world. The world going to keep selling you wooden nickels. If you keep listening to the world, you ain't going to never get your provision. You're going to stay with wooden nickels. You know why? I did it. I kept getting that fake currency. I kept getting the F-A-K-E currency because I didn't have my F-A-I-T-H currency. How about that? I got my faith currency up and everything started to change. So I pray that that will begin to manifest in your life. And that you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And I pray that God releases the favor, the finances, and all of the provision that you need. And I also pray that if you are, if you are hearing this by God, and if you are really being led to do it, follow the hacks. See where it gets you. See what happens. See what relationships develop. See what things you learn about yourself. Find out your likes and dislikes. See if you can come up with a solution. Find out how you can invest in yourself. Learn about cryptocurrency. Learn about uh, the, your fitness and your health. Learn, I talked about all of these things this week. On, on different days, all of these things were addressed. You want to learn about the three Bs, the three basics of sewing, okay? So make sure you go back, you check it all out again. I'm wired to inspire.com. That will get you everything that's going on with me, including my tour, the clothing line, and all of the other things going on. All inspired by God, all spiritually based. And you can also go to the inspiration specialist.life, and that will give you every free resource that I have. May God bless you and keep you. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at I'm Wired to Inspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to the inspiration specialist.life or I'm Wired to Inspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.